things that really makes the Harbor team successful in the field is that they are empowered to make the decisions. There's no way we can micromanage them from across the world. So they have a great sense of responsibility, but also they have a great sense of award and reward when they make the right decisions. Like here in Laos also, most of them, they don't venture outside the world. I said, look at me, I'm, I'm Muslim. I'm worse, I'm covered, and it makes no difference with Harvard. I said, <laughs> it's all here that matters. What matters is what you, what, you, what you know, what you can do, what you can perform. Most of the people at Harvard we know, we've all worked together, we've heard of each other. You have to be firm with them, but you have to also treat them like you want to be treated. It's very good to get all those different countries, people staying in the, in the same boat and, and doing something. That technology transfer, it does work. And when we leave, we leave a skilled workforce there that, that the local community can utilize. Finding those people that can work together as a team and basically be dropped in the middle of nowhere. It's amazing, they just drop us in to these places and we have to get our materials here and get organized and get it done. It's a huge challenge, but uh, we always do it. The challenge working overseas is every day, every day there's challenges that you wouldn't dream would happen it constantly. Getting people in, housing your people, making sure they stay healthy and safe, providing transportation for them, make sure the vehicles are running, make sure the house has power, make sure people have security at their places. You know, when you have time off, the things that I get to do are the things that most people only get to read about in National Geographic. What's so rewarding about this business is you get to see tangible results in a project and a structure that is completed, and it's because of the problems that you've solved to get it to that level. I mean, that's what's so neat. Everybody there is there to solve problems and working with the team that gets it done. Welcome. How are we doing, guys? Train from the ground up, carpenters, plumbers, electricians, mechanical people. I was looking to go to the university, and for now I can say the PRBT is my university. You will find here that the employer is as good to the employee or vice versa. Why would you want to leave a good thing? It makes you feel like your family. It's a big family, you know, family of two or three thousand people working overseas. We've always treated our employees with respect, and I think ultimately, if you know, if I didn't feel that Billy Harbor, Chuck Bone had my back, you know, respected me and allowed me to do what I can do. I wouldn't be here. We try to treat our employees with utmost respect and fairness and make them part of the family. Talk to them like, you know, like I'm talking to you right now. Thank you. There's not been one job site that I know of that we've done internationally that Billy hasn't personally visited. He makes it part of his contribution is to go out and thank everybody and make sure that they know that they are appreciated. He said he drink the water, what everybody drink with. And this one, sir, he touched many, many, uh, many, many. There, I'm gonna, we're going to all drink the same water. We want to make sure this it's one, safe for everybody. Yes. And it's genuine. It's not, oh, let me fly to the middle of Congo and walk out so I can shake all 500 workers' hands. He actually goes out there and he means it when he does it. You don't see that much in an owner. And you treat them the way you want to be treated. Give them the opportunities that someone gave you a long time ago. None of us do this on our own. We get where we are because somebody recognized us, everyone. And to leave them with a skill set that they could carry on for the rest of their lives. The beautiful thing about Harvard is what we have today, there's no way you could have drawn that up. There's really nothing that anybody can run into in the field and say, well, we can't do that because we can always say, well, then move aside and we'll do it because we've done it before and we know that it can be done and it allows us to provide them with the tools that they need to be able to finish what it is they need to do. What really excites me is carrying on this great family tradition going forward, figuring out where we can expand not only geographically, but also with a different and larger client base. And at this point, I really feel like we can build anything anywhere.